Virginia Park with Geelong's Andrew Buse. His teammate Michael, uh, Jacko, Jacko Michael, Phillips. Mark Jacko Jackson. Collingwood youngster Russell Dixon. It hits the deck. There's a go for Dixon. Snaps. He's put it through, I think. Yes. Yes, a goal by Dixon. Back to the Cats. Here's Neville Bruns. Great recovery. He recovers well. Spins out of the back beautifully. And that deserves a goal. It is a goal. Staying with the small men, but this time Carlton's Rod Ashman. Charges in after it. Fires at the goal. Good That's goal. a great effort by Rodney Ashman. A beautiful goal. Also amongst the goals was Carlton's David Rhys Jones. Jones picks up on the left foot, shoots toward goal, and the umpire watches it go overhead. He does. Roach and completing our goal of the day well segment today, we go to the MCG where Michael Roach tucked in the pocket, snapped truly to produce a great goal. Gentlemen, only a few, but quality was quite good. Well, Bobby, it was lovely to see a couple of uh, full forwards uh, figuring there amongst the Rovers. You mean the individual? Yeah, the individual, <laughs> and uh, right, that was a good goal at Jacko's, wasn't it? Yeah, well, off the side of the boot, uh, and he, you know, was very deliberate the way he did it. Uh, some people would have gone for the left foot, but Jacko decided to kick it off the side of the boot. But there were some very similar goals, and I was more impressed with the, the, the ones under pressure. Michael Roach uh, from the boundary line was a great snapshot. Dixon was under pressure, and um, Bruns also. And Bruns really uh, was great courage, even though he dropped the mark, to, to just stand there. I think you know, the only thing he didn't do was bless him because you really hope that the pack's not coming. Right. What about you, Kev? Well, I must agree with Bob. Uh, Dixon's goal was uh, was an excellent one under a lot of pressure. And I thought for Michael Roach, uh, it was an unusual goal for Roachie. We're used to seeing him take the big mark and going back and uh, kicking those lovely drop punts. But uh, that was a great goal. But uh, I'd like to agree with Bob on this case. I thought Neville Bruns, the fact that he dropped the mark, recovered, then had to spin out of the pack, you know, evade a couple of uh, tackles and then kick a goal. I thought it was an excellent goal, Neville yes, Bruns. Yes, and uh, I'm with you too on Neville Bruns. He had to sit underneath that ball and wait for it to float down. He didn't know who was behind him and then he fought on and kicked the goal. And we'll have a look at that and he never...